Hello, this is the second month vlog. I think you can see it, can we? Not yet. Maybe soon. But I've got some news to share with you. First one is that we have an appointment, an ultrasound and blood work appointment. <laughs> and I downloaded uh, the app and I'm seeing, you know, every week the baby and you can choose to compare the baby size with uh, fruits or with some objects from the 80s or the 90s so today you know those bracelets that we had with letters on it so today our baby is on the size of a cubicle you know a small square letter i don't know how you call it so yeah I'm glad about it and I have two things I've been noticed. So first one, when I'm waking up, I'm having a headache and then I eat and I'm fine, you know, nothing else. And the second thing, I really have no idea if it's related to the pregnancy or because we changed the shampoo, but my hair is like extra dry. It's like super dry and frizzy. OMG, I'm applying lots of creams and hydration and everything that I have, you know, hair oil, you name it. But it's a still dry. So those two things are like, is it normal? Is it something that happens? And now that I remember the third one, it's about me feeling tired. <laughs> Guys, the other day it was like just cleaning the, the fridge. And it's something I could do in a blink of an eye. But I just did half of it. And I was like, feeling tired, you know? My tired body was like, I need to sit. And then I moved, it wasn't happy, but I moved like this mirror because we are receiving some guests soon. So I had to place this mirror here because we don't have much space. So it's not heavy again. <laughs> but I moved it and I was like, ah. You know, and usually I'm like electric and I don't get tired often, but lately I'm like taking easy, very easy, so easy. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a pregnancy sign or not, but I will keep you posted with the news soon. We are calling the baby Novidade, which means in Portuguese news. And is a neutral name. It's not female or male because in Brazil we have um, both genders like in words. So it's our big news, Novidade. And then every day, especially during lunchtime, Caio is going to play to Novidade. Caio and I decided to share the news with some friends, so I pretended it was an unboxing for a brand. It was about cables and things like that, so we were like saying that it was the lightest one on earth, and yeah, they were waving it and checking, and she said, oh, it's empty, but I said, no, check it out. Go check it out and look at their reaction. <laughs> Six weeks and a couple of days, almost seven weeks, and the symptoms are here. When I wake up and during the day, I feel a bit nauseous and um, it's summer. But the AC, even in my flat, when it's, the temperature is like 21, 22, I'm like cold. Cold hands, cold feet. I wasn't like that at all. Usually, I, I was always like sweating like a pig. <laughs> even during winter time, like minus 20. I was here, it confirmed it. So minus 20, 
oops, sweaty. But now on 21 positive Celsius, I'm like this. So even thinking about some types of, it makes my stomach goes rolling, you know. I didn't throw up yet. I don't expect to, but you know, like the nausea is there. Um, another thing is that I'm still having like some headache. Um, my boobs are still sore, and I think my belly is huge. I'm only two months, and I can see and I can tell I'm pregnant. I mean, whoa, sitting here on the car. And I remember I shared with Kaya like, oh, look at the seatbelt. It's like flat, you know, on my stomach. So a couple, you know, of months from now, it will be different. Like the belly will be showing. But I didn't think it would be this quick. Let me try to show you guys. I don't know how I can do it. But if I lift, you see, like, come on, six weeks. And I think another thing is that like the mood change, according to my husband, I'm having one. For me, I'm not, you know. He said that I can be like super happy and excited and the other moment I can be like moody, you know. Uh, but one thing for sure, I think I'm calmer than before, right? And right now we are in the car and we are seeing uh, a new apartment because we will have to move from the one we're living right now and in a modern times I think I would be desperate because it's soon you know and I'm pregnant and I have to move probably very quickly and put things in the box and we don't have boxes yet and there are lots going on at the same time but I'm like confident that God's in control of everything, everything will be okay, I won't be sleeping on the street, so this is what matters, right? And yeah, we need more space, especially like now having a baby. So let's see how this new home will be. It's the first one we're seeing, and usually we have to see a couple of homes to call our next home the new home, right? But yeah, I'm like chill, baby. <laughs> Another news is that I can't sleep on my belly, on my stomach anymore. And of course, I can't sleep either on my side. I have to sleep like facing up, which I'm not used to. And I'm having kind of trouble sleeping. And I'm in absolute all with the size of this belly. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you this is the reality i can force you know this is the size guys look on the front you see the division here <laughs> every person is different and every pregnancy has well on mine you probably can see on my belly some patches. They are like adhesives and they are made of estrogen. Put my clothes on. Ooh. <laughs> Six weeks. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. FF is just unbelievable. So excited for you and Kaya. Can't wait for your little girl of joy. I can see you. Be a mama. Today I came to the clinic to pick up one medication. And guys, on the way here, like going up the stairs to the train station, I got so tired and passing by some restaurants and frying place, you know. It 
gave me that nausea and OMG. I almost slept so many times on the bus, first time in my life. So, by the way, here's my breakfast. Some vitamins. Of course, I had to put on the table the rose my husband gave me. I had some porridge and I have some coyo eggs. We're looking for a gift and then suddenly, cha-cha. <laughs> Who has a leg like this? So strange. Goosebumps all the time and nausea. Week seven, I think I am officially pregnant. I started throwing up this morning. It was the first time, but I spent the day like with the nausea, you know, and it was interesting because yesterday um, and today when I woke up, I was kind of feeling nothing, you know, and it was like, Am I pregnant? Jesus, I'm, you know, so worried. And I said, I wish I had, you know, pregnancy test. And they prayed, like, oh, Jesus, give me a sign. You know, I'm, I'm pregnant. Um, next Thursday, we'll have an appointment um, with the ultrasound and everything now. So after I prayed and I went to eat, I was feeling absolutely normal. And then, yeah, everything started and I spent the day not feeling good so yeah <laughs> people i'm feeling terrible i'm eating my meals in general in part you know i eat a little bit and then i stop because of the nausea and then i come back to it and eat a little bit more and stop and here i'm having a strong lemonade nauseous times I'm not feeling well. So we are going to the blood work and ultrasound right now. Yes. I don't know this. I have bubble gum. I have some ice. They say it helps with the nausea. I'm trying. Perfect. We came back from the appointment and we had the blood work and ultrasound. So blood work. We know the results come later on, but the ultrasound was interesting. I had a flu bladder one first, and Kayo, my husband, could not come in with me. And we were wondering why. And then we discovered that if something like goes has not expected, at least it was just you there to deal with that, you know, instead of being too many people. And sometimes we know that people can overreact or something like that so i went there and i was so nervous but let me tell you some details that god prepared for us so the woman that was doing the ultrasound when we had our previous appointment she was the one that said oh see you when you get pregnant you know and then it was her. Of course, she cannot, you know, remember me because she sees so many people throughout the days. And yeah, I was just one more person. But I, I, I got that inside of me. And it was her. And I told her, like, it was a special moment, like having her, you know, um, in that moment. And then she was like, um, yeah. How are you feeling? Are you nervous? And I said, I'm shaking because I'm so nervous. And she's like, yeah, I bet. So I laid down and then she started the ultrasound and, and she was like, um, hmm, I can see it's you. You have a heartbeat. Oh my God. My heart went, you know, to the ground. I was like, oh, and I started crying. And then she gave me like, uh, um, a pack of 
you know, tissue paper, but it was empty. And I told her, it's empty. But she was so clumsy, so funny. At the same time, she started opening the cabinets and dropping things. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. You're pregnant. <laughs> she was excited, you know. Um, and then she got another one and she said, this is your pack. Like, you know, keep it. Uh, of course I did it, but, you know, it was full. And then she said, you need lots of tissues today. And I was like, I think so. Um, and then uh, after this moment, she said, go empty your bladder. And then you can write your husband and we do another ultrasound. So Tayo came and she was like doing what she needed to do, taking the pictures she needed to. And then she asked him to approach and he hold my hand and uh, we both looked to the screen and we saw the little baby like, you know, breathing, kind of squishing. The, the, ima the image we saw, it was like something squishing, you know, popping because it, it's still small, you know. Today we discovered that we are seven weeks, one day old. Um, and even though we could not hear because she said that the ultrasound sound is louder than the baby sound at this moment. But even though she was like, it doesn't matter, like you can see and we recorded it in the machine. So maybe we will figure out a way to, to send it to you. So she gave us like the printed version of the image. Um, so she said that everything looks like expected. The baby is growing. And we have to see, of course, the, the hormones, but we were in awe. Kai was so happy, he said. He didn't cry, but I cried like so many times, you know. I left the room like crying of happiness, of course. But I was like, oh my God. And the woman, she asked me, can you believe it? And I was like, no, I can't believe it yet. I will soon, hopefully. <laughs> But yeah, we have a tiny new baby inside the eyes. And yeah, she said that it's it seems to be the only one and it is only one according to the image. And later on, like an hour later, the office called. But I mean, they said they called, but we didn't receive any calls. But we received an email and the results were like very clear, saying that they were happy. And yeah. The baby's heartbeat is like 142 beats per minute. <laughs> and we were like, oh, yeah, we saw it. I mean, it's squishy, squishy, squishy. Um, what else? And the hormones are like on good levels. And yeah, everything seems fine. And we praise the Lord. We are so, like, one thing I was saying in my mind, when I was seeing everything was like, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so when I got home, I was starving because the appointment was like at midday and I was starving. <laughs> I arrived at home, like I was like, I need to eat. And I ate in that mood, like we eat usually when we are hungry, you know, like in that speed. And when I finished my plate, I was like, I'm satisfied. You know, like everything wanted to come out. And I was like, no, no, please, 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 please. I just want this food to stay. <laughs> so I threw out officially like only once. But the wish to, it went like many times. And I had many vomits, if we can call them like this. So just a small portion coming out which is not funny, which is not cool, which is not pleasant. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I will write an email to the clinic asking about the nausea and which medication I can take. Uh, but they said, like, live like a princess for now. Rest up as much as you can. And right now I'm studying to take my second test of course two of... Um, Realtor. So I'm, I'm thinking it's low. I, I'm not lying. And I'm enjoying this moment, you know, and the possibility of not having to do much at this moment. I remember like, I don't know, 10 years ago, I was a busy bee. I could not stop. 
and I was doing things in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, um, volunteering, and doing so many things, nonstop. And I think everything has its time in life. And right now I'm enjoying like this moment of quietness, at least for now. You're pregnant. We have a baby heartbeat inside of me. And <laughs> yeah, we called um, our parents. And in our way here, our neighbor, the one that's so kind, so nice, he saw us. And I was holding my belly because Kyra and I, we spent the way back home, like the entire, you know, trip back talking about it, definitely. And Kyra was holding the baby pictures. And then I was holding my belly, Kyra was holding the picture, and we just bump into the neighbor at the garage. And he was like, hi, I love your dress, this dress, he said. And I was like, oh, thank you. And then he looked at me, but like he didn't expect. Canadians are so polite. They, they never, ever ask me, like, are you pregnant or something, right? But then I said, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I couldn't hold it. And Kyle kind of showed the picture. I mean, I think he saw it, but he wouldn't comment, you know, if we didn't. And he said, yeah, we're pregnant. Oh my God, he started crying. He's an old guy. He's only his 70s or 80s, maybe. I don't know. So he started crying and uh, it was so emotional and he was so happy. We could see his happiness, you know. And then I said, but don't share with the entire building, things like that. And we came back home using the elevator, right? And he was going to the garage. So... He thought we had left already, but we were still like in, in the small hall there is. And we could hear he outside screaming like, yeah, 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 we have a baby. <laughs> it, it was like, it was his family as well, you know. It was like, it was his part as well in all of this. And it was beautiful seeing it, how much, you know, happiness and joy and life, a new life can bring to people so yeah I came out of the house for a night walk and for some vitamin D not me the one we buy at the pharmacy but the natural one finally we have some sun here and I was thinking about so many things right we have the baby gender how we can control the body how we can make stay between Kai and I and now that we have an ultrasound uh, and heartbeat it doesn't mean that our worries are like even went away you know, they, are just, they are still there I'm still worried about um, yeah the first trimester um, everything and anything you know sometimes it crosses my mind there's this bible verse that I shared with my best friend this morning saying that I need to believe this that when we trust in we have the love of the Lord. We won't fear anything, basically, in other words, right? So, yeah, I'm trying to move it now. It's not easy. So, yeah, just walking and thinking and praying and doing all of us. But for now, the desire and the feeling that comes to my heart is to protect ourselves, you know, it's like, not sharing with so many people uh, because of the comments, because of you know, um, of what people may think about it or not. We like to protect ourselves. Like when I was going through the process of getting pregnant, I mean, like announce to every single person, right? And then share every single day with everybody. So maybe this is a moment, a quiet moment. To do the same thing. So just stay between eyes and yeah, you're watching it because it's past the time. But uh, yeah, I think the best thing we could do right now is just to stay quiet and live the moment and live one week at a time. I really fall 
I was in week eight, but today I just discovered that we are in week seven. And thinking about it, it made me, it made me feel a little bit stressed and worried because in week eight, it I just had one first trimester, and that's it, right? But being in week seven, I have five. <laughs> Ways, as I said before, so many worries cross my mind. They shouldn't, but I think it's a common thing, maybe, with other early pregnant women, um, or at least some of other um, early pregnant women. And yeah, five more weeks to finish the first trimester. Lord, please help us. I'm living and learning, more learning than living. <laughs> day in, day out, I have been throwing up so bad. And it's a good sign, of course. I'm happy, but at the same time, I'm like, I can't wait for this to pass. So I had another appointment because every person is different. And in my case, um, they're following up every week until week 10. And then it will be more spaced the time they will see me. But now we're basically between week seven and week eight, right? I just told you that I was a bit upset because I thought that I was in week eight, eight already. But anyway, long story short, everything's fine with me, with the baby. Hormones are in good levels. Baby, the woman said, it's a big baby. <laughs> uh, there is a saying that if the baby is in the right side uh, on the image, it's a girl. And if it's on the left side, it's a boy. According to the image, it's on the right side. So is it a girl? Let's see later on. But yeah, the news are like throwing up, nausea. And <laughs> yeah, not funny. Um, but a good thing about it all is that I have been learning so much about my body and how I eat. Eating is a process lately, so I, I can't eat much, as you know. So I'm eating like small portions, like I eat half of a bread and then half an hour later, I try to eat the other half. And then half an hour later, I drink lots of water, but then I get hydrated, right? And then I take my meds. My meds, I mean, the vitamins I told you about, right? Uh, because if I do it at once, it may come out, right? So I, I have a banana then, and then I wait for a couple of hours, and then I have something. My lunch portion is like smaller than usual because... For some reason, um, my nausea and I throw up more often during lunch lunchtime than in the morning. Don't ask me why. Everybody's different, right? So maybe my hormonal peak is during lunchtime. Don't know. But yeah, I'm officially, you know, pregnant. And I was talking uh, to my therapist and I was sharing about uh, my feelings and some some things that has been going on, right? And then uh, she said something like, oh, welcome to the motherhood um, club, right? And I was like, am I a mama? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so yeah, these are my news right now. Oh, by the way, I, I, I was embarrassed to share this with you, but I think I need to because I'm being very real with you guys. So, last time I threw up, I peed myself. And I don't remember 
the last time it happened to me. I mean, being myself without controlling it. So it, it was like stronger than me, right? So I was in the process of putting everything outside. And um, yeah, I couldn't control. I felt bad. I felt embarrassed. I was by myself at home. I was at work. Uh, and I felt like hopeless, you know. And it was like, oh, thank God. I wasn't in a public space because I could change. I could shower. I could, you know, uh, clean myself and the area. But I felt so bad, guys. I, I felt like terrible. And I, I had to call my dad. And then he was like, are you okay? I was like, no, dad, I'm feeling weak and this kind of stuff. And then I shared with him and he remembered me that my belly and my body is changing. So the uterus and the bladder, they're so close and has the uterus is growing right now. It's like already probably compressing the bladder. And then with the effort of, you know, stretching and contracting the stomach when you throw up, this happens sometimes. And I was like, oh, okay. But, you know, we are almost finishing week, not week, but month two. And I can't wait for having month three and having these symptoms probably, hopefully, painfully <laughs> going away. I don't know if you like reactions, but this is my super friend Maxine reaction. She lives in the UK. We have a long distance relationship right now. She's coming to see us soon. So I had to share the news and we had a long talk. She was so happy and I was so happy because she was happy.